Okay, in this video I want to talk about double integrals over general regions and changing the order of integration. So, the first example I'm simply going to show how to change the uh, order of integration and then in the, uh, I'll probably do another video with another example where I actually um, calculate a more concrete example. So the basic idea is this. So suppose we're going to integrate from 0 to 1 and then 0 to x of a function of x, y. We're going to integrate with respect to y first and then x. So what we want to do is somehow switch it so that we have dx first and then dy next. The way I like to do this, or at least I think about it and it works for me, notice the inside part again is dy. So whatever that variable is, I'm going to write the inside limits equal to that. So I'm going to write y equals 0, y equals x. For the outside limit, I'm going to do the same thing. Since it's dx, I'm going to think about this as being x equals 1 and x equals 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph those four curves, or in this case, just lines. So I'm going to graph the line y equals x. Okay, so y equals x, um, just our 45 degree line through the origin y equals 0, which is just the x-axis, and then I'm going to do the same things. So x equals 0 would be correspondingly the y-axis, and x equals 1 will be a vertical line. Okay, so they're talking about the finite region trapped between those, those four curves. Um, so to me it looks like the only region that really makes sense to be talking about would be this inside sort of um, this, this triangular region here in the bottom the bottom right corner. Um, okay, so what we want to do is again we want to switch our limits of integration so where we've got y first, or excuse me, x first and then y and the way I like to think about it is just to kinda in terms of the way it was originally written if we integrate with respect to y first, I like to think about a vertical line parallel that's parallel to y, um, which a vertical line would be. The bottom curve that it touches is y equals 0. The top curve that it touches is y equals x, and those become our limits of integration. Likewise, if you think about the smallest x-coordinate that this region uses, it would be the x-coordinate of 0. The largest x-coordinate that it uses would be the x-coordinate of 1. Okay, so I'm going to try to use that same idea and, and, and see what happens when I switch them out. Okay, so I think things might change here a little bit, so let's see what happens. So now instead of dy dx, we want to have dx dy. Okay, so if I, again, we're talking about this triangular region. If I integrate with respect to x first, now I'm going to draw... Uh, a line that's parallel to the x-axis that, that sits inside of my region. So now notice this bottom, or the first curve, the leftmost curve that it touches is the line x equals y. So that's going to become my lower limit of, of integration. The upper curve that it touches is x equals 1. Now I do the same thing. I think about what's the smallest y-coordinate to the largest y-coordinate. Well, the smallest y-coordinate would be 0, the largest y-coordinate would simply be 1, and now we've got an equivalent integral just uh, simply by switching out the limits of integration. Okay, so just kind of a general problem, um, and I'm going to do another one right now. Feel free to look for it where I actually calculate um, a definite integral where we have you know, a, a concrete function and can go all the way through the process. So feel free to take a look at that one if you'd like to see that one as well.